Hey there, seven days of Wild Rose Beauty Balm, day number five, continued. So, <clears throat> there's a reason why they call this a beauty balm and not necessarily a face balm, because it gives you all over beauty. You can use this from head to toe. So, tonight, actually, I'm going to highlight the Manny Petty uh, benefits that you can have with the Wild Rose Beauty Balm. And I'm talking about our hands and our feet. So do any of you suffer from dry, cracked hands or even like cuticles, like dry, cracked cuticles? Um, this is a great moisturizing treatment. It's an all over um, beauty healer. All the essential oils and the ingredients that go into this, remember it's 99% organic as well. Um, it's, got, it's got amazing healing properties for you. But the greatest thing that I love about this, especially when you're trying to use it on your hands, is and then replacing a cuticle oil, is that it's very simple and easy to use and it doesn't run everywhere. So you know those um, typical cuticle oils after you've gotten a manicure and they've painted your nails and they wanna make sure you know all around your cuticles and your nails are really nice and moisturized and healthy. Well, by using the Wild Rose Beauty Balm, one, it's not um, an actual like liquid oil. So when you put it somewhere, like on your cuticles, and just kind of spread it around, you can kind of just dab a little bit on each one of your cuticle nails, it's gonna stay in place. I know I had the problem where I would run cuticle oils. You can even see it when um, you know the nail technician is, is putting stuff on your on your uh, on your cuticles. She drops a little bit on it, it kind of runs off, and sometimes even if you're trying to do it at home, it kind of gets everywhere. Well, the balm is thick, it's a thick solution, but once it gets to your skin, that's when it really gets kind of kind of dissolve and moisturize. So one, it stays in place. Two, it's very quickly absorbent as well. Like you don't feel like you have this really shiny residue left over on your skin. It really absorbs pretty quickly. And it smells amazing. How many cuticle oils do you know of that actually smell good? I don't know of any. Um, and then you can take the rest, the excess that you have on your fingertips, and just massage on the rest of your hands. So this is a great treatment that you can do daily if you would like, or just weekly, or after you get, you know, a mani pedi, or even just kind of, you know, um, whenever you feel like you have dry, cracked cuticles. You can even use this as a moisturizing hand treatment as well. So I would recommend taking a little bit more of the of the size of the amount and something you can do overnight. Let's say you're a nurse or you're someone who's constantly washing their hands and your hands are always cracked and dry. Um, you can use gloves. Um, take the moisturizing um, balm and spread all over your hands and then put gloves over top and sleep overnight. And then when you get up in the morning, do a quick wash. You're really going to see a difference in the, in the skin quality. It's going to be very, very soft. It's actually going to heal some of the cracks and, that you may have already developed and had. So that's another part of um, my uh, highlighting this use tonight is the ability to put it on dry cracked hands or dry cracked feet. How many of us, this is the first day of spring. Thank you so much. I'm really excited for all of the warm weather that's coming, but are our feet really ready? I know mine aren't. Um, it hasn't been, it's been a while since you've had a pedicure. Um, I, uh, and so when you're, when you have dry cracked heels, especially calluses, sometimes that can be a little bit hard to really get a lot of that dead skin off. So what this is going to do, this is really going to soften, you know, those, um, like she, I call them cheese graters, the things that you can get when you get a pedicure, when they actually like strip the skin off of your feet, that's really not good for your skin. It's not healthy for you. But what this can do, this can actually really, really soften the skin. So what I recommend is to take probably like a thicker sized amount, and I'm gonna just show you the amount, size of the amount that I would use. I would use about that much per foot. Remember, a little goes a long way, um, but you would need a little bit more than you're typically using for your face. So I would rub that in all over your feet, especially concentrating on your heels and, and you know that like that callus part of your, of your toe, like your outer toe. I know I get calluses there pretty easily. Concentrate and make sure that you work that in um, to your skin. And then you take socks. I recommend a dark pair of socks. Um, this won't necessarily, I won't, it's not going to stain anything, but if you don't want um, to have a lot of like residue, especially, 
you know, you don't want to see any kind of residue on it. And just in case, I would recommend using a dark pair of socks. So I usually use a black pair of socks. You want to moisture or rub that all in all over your feet and put the socks on overnight. And then the next morning, you're going to be amazed. You can even take your pumice stone after in, like in the morning bath and just kind of rub along the edges of your heels. And you're going to really feel any dead skin that's left over. It's going to slough right off or it's just going to be you won't even need to actually rub the dead skin off. It'll already be kind of absorbed in your um, in your socks. So again, there's a reason why they call this a beauty balm and not a face balm because there's so many uses for it um, for an all over head to toe beauty. So join me again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day number six and then Wednesday will be day number seven. Now Thursday is when we're going to be announcing our amazing special on the Wild Rose Beauty Balm and how you can get your hands on some. So what I recommend is if you have a friend that you think would absolutely love this product, if you love, if you're already thinking like you love this product, then you, and you must have a friend that can use all of this, uh, you know, in the same uh, way. Go ahead and add them to my Facebook group if you're a part of it or invite them to like my page so they can stay apart because I think that the special that you're going to um, that's going to be announced on Thursday is going to be a great special for you and for a friend. All right. Happy first day of spring, everyone.